Okay, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the work that you've been doing around uh, Ashford for this year's Summer Arts Festival? Yeah, um, what I've been doing this year is uh, it's a themed festival again, uh, which is shared space. So I've been looking at the different places around the town that actually are or going to be shared spaces. Uh, and the work we see behind me now, um, which is the hoarding, which is around where the old library uh, used to be and which is going to be the new gateway and the gateway building itself is going to be a shared space so it seemed uh, most appropriate that we could perhaps share the space of the hoarding and put a really nice piece of work up there Mary's Church, uh, which um, some of the people might know, um, is going to become a shared space in itself uh, with some building work that's going to go on, which will open up the space inside for the community to use. And uh, being aware of that, um, I came up with the concept of um, the piece of work that's in there, which is called Drawing the Community In, uh, which is literally that. Um, we asked uh, members of the community would they mind posing for a quick photograph and we actually used that photograph as the basis to actually draw them um, onto these uh, full scale drawings which line the walls uh, either side of the, of the nave as you walk in which looks absolutely incredible. And so what did it actually involve creating these images that are around the edge of the church here? We had to copy the images off of a overhead projector onto a plain piece of paper with pencil and then we had to go over it with a chisel felt tip black pen. Right, okay. Um, how many, do you know how roughly how many people are all featured here and, and how did you 100. sort of... 100. A hundred, right. Isn't it like 111? 111, something like that. And how, how, how were they chosen? Was it just people that you knew yourselves it, or...? No, it was... Um, well, one looked like Ron Weasley, so he chose that one. It was, <laughs> no, it was random, wasn't it? It was people being taken in High Street, I think. Uh -huh. has got that connection with shared space and starting with the road scheme um, where you know the concept of traffic and, and pedestrians negotiate their own pathway and I like that as being the basis of actually a choreographed performance and that will be on the final Saturday of the festival which is the 25th. Some of them really are actually. Yeah. We were given use of the Ashford Youth Theatre um, in which we were given a crew of, uh, of people to do lighting and with smoke machine effects and, and stuff, um, basically to, to give the kind of video uh, an eerie atmosphere. Um, and what we're kind of trying to represent is the, the fact that skateboarding can be more of an art rather than just a sport. Um, and uh, it kind of, um, I think the pictures within the gallery kind of represent the sort of um, the family that we have as well. Um, you know, just the amount of friends that I've met through skateboarding and uh, the kind of the social side of it. Um, it's been, uh, so you hope in a way this will just kind of reveal uh, another side to skateboarding that people don't necessarily think of, you know, they think maybe just of the stick, uh, tricks and stunts perhaps, yeah, but, but there's the whole community involved in it as yeah, well. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we're, we're not just um, the vandals that go around, you know, breaking benches and stuff <laughs> like um, no, we're, try we're trying to bring across a, a bit more of, um, well, we're trying to say that, you know, skateboarding is a very constructive thing, as is BMXing, etc. Um, and, yeah, what we're trying to do is, um, you know, promote, maybe, uh, in a sense, because, you know, it just, it brings, it brings a lot of, a lot of joy to young people. Okay.